I'm going to start by shaking your hand. Hello. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Because a 19-year-old British girl has been fitted with some of the world's most advanced bionic hands, which are powered by her own thoughts and which, as we'll discover, can even move when they're not attached to her arms. Amazing. Well, Amazing. Tilly joins us now. I mean, obviously, you probably don't remember being 15 months old when this no. all happened to you, but I know that your mum said in your hospital you will mm. get a hand to get at the time, and boy, have you taken that on and faced it all out completely. These are your latest, aren't yes. they? And they're extraordinary. Just first of all, show us what they can do so, and why it's different from before. Yeah, so these are made by Open Bionics. These are called the Hero Pro, which yes. I was a part of the co-design and development of. So they're like 3D printed, but they're extra strong, extra quick. And yeah, the most advanced on the market. So wow. they're muscle operated. We've got these little myopods, which track my muscle movements, squeeze to close, flex to open. And I can cycle through like 30 grip modes, do wow. anything from like a peace sign to a pinch to a point. And yeah, pretty much anything. And you, you can pick up thinking? the glass as well, can't you? Yeah. Which is something that your previous yeah. ones don't, don't couldn't do. Could you show us? Would yeah, that be like, possible? So you can pick up the glass and like you can just pick any sort of grip mode, whatever it is. If it's like popcorn Amazing. out a ball, I would use a little point mechanism. So yeah, you can do pretty much anything. It's be life changing. And do you do you consciously have to think of the movement? Do you think I'm gonna move my finger now and it yeah, there is that little extra thought process because they are muscle operated. I think that's a big misconception is like I just think and it comes to reality. Right. So there is that like thought to muscle like sort of connection. So I am so thinking... So you tell your arm what to do? Yeah, like squeeze the clothes, flex the open. I'm conscious of where I'm at in the, in the grip mode cycle as well. And obviously over time, just going to get more and more advanced and even less thought. And does that come with, with practice and, as you say, improving the tech to get it more coordinate to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, thought. for sure. It's the more tech advances, the easier it's mm. going to get and the more accessible it'll be for everybody. I mean, one of the things this piece of kit does for you is that you can even control it when it's not attached. Yes. Now, I've got to be part of this. Should we, should we do this together? Yeah. Because, um, right, there we go. So, so they're completely wireless, so if you, like, pull... And twist. Do pull it again. And Press twist. the button again. Oh my oh. god, I feel like I'm hurting you. There you go, you. I there know, right? Go. But yeah, so it can wow. actually operate when it's attached as well, which everyone's quite excited about. And that's oh due to the no. wireless. My so pods. let me put this down. So you are thinking. It still work. I'll just move that glass so the cameras can see it. <gasps> yeah. Wow, can you like do that. it again? Yeah, so it's just like frozen here, so I can just press that button and. From that point onwards, you can make it crawl or do whatever over the top. But the thing is, you're not My pressing goodness. a control panel. Your 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 yeah. mind is making. Yeah, I'm just operating it all internally. It's like just that. incredible. It's can I ask you? You said that you put first. Yeah, you can put it back. <laughs> you said you first came on GMB when you were eight years old, mm. and back then, you must have been using a much more basic technology yeah. than now. But also, you had your arm to um, to look like. Um, your, you know, um, a flesh-coloured arm. Exactly. You've decided to do something quite different. I mean, yeah. they, these are you know, properly bionic in their yeah. look. Well, why yeah. did you decide that? I'm like, I'm obsessed with the design, and I, that's why I feel like co-design is so important. Like before, I was even given a hand and a prosthetic that would move. I was given a glove, like a cosmetic glove, and that to me, my family was like, "Why are we doing this? Like, it's not something that ah. I wanted to hide. It was something that we wanted to like actually." be functional but also I always say these don't just accept those differences but they also accentuate it in a really beautiful light so that's what I like to talk about over my social media and yeah you can dress them up different colors put glitter on them and I love that it's just so can you more change fun. them like day to day yeah they're just magnetic so you can have any color so I've if, got, you've, like, if you're wearing a different outfit can you have a different yeah arm match it to your outfit match it to your mood whatever it is and I suppose psychologically <laughs> that means that you're you're in your brilliant influencing uh, you're saying to people not having a hand isn't something to be ashamed of as in hide it under yeah. a glove 
it's out there giving you strength and power yeah, and appeal. Yeah, exactly. I talk about all the mental benefits and like it's so important that they're accessible to more and more people as mm. well. Like I, for one, have like experienced that firsthand where like they've just opened so many doors for me like physically and mentally as well. Um, and now the goal is just to make sure as many people can get them as possible. So we're actually launching a podcast called Tilly Talks Tech and that's <laughs> going to be launched today. So you can actually subscribe on YouTube and basically it's going to be a views for hands sort of situation so every time you're watching that ad revenue is going to go towards making them more accessible making sure that's, more people can get thing. money and be able to so get amazing. this tech so when I'm really a, excited about that when I was a, a boy um, a, li a little boy in the 1970s mm -hmm. there was a TV program called the bionic man <laughs> and we thought this was like science fiction and made up. We never thought it could ever become no. real. You know, we can rebuild him. Yeah. What you said about the Bionic Man. But you have become the Barnet woman in, yes. in real life. It's amazing, isn't it? I guess so. And like, I'm honestly just honored to be at the forefront of it because, mm. you know, there's, there's still so much we can do. Like they're gonna be, I feel like, as good as the science fiction world and give people that independence and like, that, you know, just their ability back. That's just amazing. sum up that little action. I mean, obviously, it's fascinating to see you control the table, but for you in your life, that little action to be able to grab a glass, what, what does that difference does that make for you in your day-to-day -day life and for others if they could have it? It's massive. I mean, I was talking to like Lord Craig McKinley recently and like he's somebody who lost all hands, uh, yeah. all limbs, sorry, like legs and arms like mm. overnight, you know, and it's one of those things that can happen to anybody. Mm. So that is why it is so important to have this technology to fall back on mm. to make sure people have access to it, you know. So, yeah, it's it's so, so important. There's no point it being there if people can't get it. Are yeah. there things that you're still, um, you know, watching you, you can pick up a glass, mm -hmm. you move your hair back from your eye. Yeah. Are there I know things... you gesticulate when you talk uh, with your eyes as well, which must be, again, really It's important. amazing. Are there things that you are still thinking the technology could be better. Can you can you put your eyeliner on? Yeah, I do my makeup with them. Do you? Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, but like, I mean, I'm full of ideas. Ever since I started with the company, I rocked up with like my massive vision board. I was like, I want Bluetooth speakers, personal assistant, lasers, you know. Is there one thing that you can't yet do with them that you want to be able to do? Um, one thing I'm yet to master, let me know anybody if there's any tools or whatever, is like tying my hair up. I could ah. achieve like a really messy bun, but I would love to be able to like, you know, do all these fancy well, hairstyles. The I girls think a messy bun is fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. You don't What's mind that? a messy bun. You don't mind a messy bun. Do you? Well, I, I'm I, I'm so useless with two hands that I was born with <laughs> uh, that it's always messy. But you, I mean, you've done your hair beautifully today, and you've done your makeup beautifully. But I guess it's those details which might mm. seem small mm. and a bit funny, which actually make Amazing. you feel like your life is For sure. the same really? as everyone with like, all their limbs. Yeah, even being able to like shake you guys' hands. Like before yes. it was like a little butt for a little hesitation, whereas now it's just like we can. Can you do a hand. fist bump? Yes, of course. Boom. We love it. Can fist I get one bump. as well? There you go. Like that. <laughs> That's just really cool. And you know, um, when you were first sort of aware of, you know, um, your hands not being there, did you think back then this would be possible? Absolutely not. Like in my like, you know, in my ideal world, I mean, I saw like the likes of like Marvel and Iron Man. And to me, as like a little girl, I was like, yeah, I want that. But then obviously it was all high definition silicon. I was just like, oh, like, why don't, why aren't we doing the super cool high tech looking arms? And then when I saw Open Bionics, they were collaborating with Iron Man, well, Iron Man, Tony Stark. They were collaborating with Marvel <laughs> at the time and they were wow. making like Elsa arms. And that to me was just really exciting. It was the first time Gosh. I just put them on and I was like, this feels right. And empowering mm. so you know that's mm. what I try to talk about now and hopefully on the podcast um, people can tune in and we can get more and more people these hands and yeah it's just it's just opens so many doors Tilly, your, your kit is amazing but your energy and your mm. spirit is fantastic mm. and you will have helped so many people watching today thank you whether or not you get to have greater access for everybody else sounds a great wonderful podcast. great yeah podcast. Bring it in. You yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> thank now you thanks so much. very much indeed